In this exercise, I'm walking you through how to do sitting shoulder rolls. So for sitting shoulder rolls, you're going to need to sit on something where your knees are level with your hips from the side. So when I'm looking at the camera here, I can see that my knees are level with my hips. They are not further up or lower down, okay? So we really want to make sure that they are directly out of your hips and that you're able to put your feet flat on the floor. You're aiming for a 90 degree angle at your hip, your knee and your ankle. The next thing that can really help you with this exercise is that even though this is an upper body mover, we are also going to be waking up the muscles in your pelvis as well. So if you want to, you can also put something like a yoga block this way around in between your knees to keep them at about hip width apart. So it doesn't have to be a yoga block, it might be a firm pillow or a loo roll. You're going to maintain a gentle squeeze into the block with your knees. And when you squeeze into the block, you should feel your inner thighs waking up. So keep that throughout the exercise. The next thing that we're going to look at is your pelvic position. So you might be sat in the chair at the moment with your pelvis tucked underneath you. You're kind of flat on your glutes and your lower back is rounding into what we call flexion. And therefore your shoulders and your upper back also rounds into flexion. What I want you to do is to pivot from your pelvis. This is nothing to do with you adjusting your shoulder position. Pivot upwards through your pelvis until you create a little bit of an arch in your lower back and you have to hold this pelvic position here throughout the exercise. So you're holding your pelvis up like this, you're squeezing into the block a little bit to wake up your inner thighs and you should be feeling some work going on on this sort of inside thigh hip area. Holding your pelvis like so is waking up your hip flexors so you should be feeling it at the front of your hips here. So the next thing that we're going to do is the shoulder rolls part of this and you're going to hang your arms heavy by your sides. You're trying to keep your elbows and your wrists still, so they are gonna follow the movement of your shoulder, but they are not leading the movement. And what we're gonna do is we're going to do 20 circles forwards. So you're using your shoulder blades to sort of draw back and down behind you, lift them up and behind you, lift them forwards and up, and then lift them forwards and down. So it's like back and down, back and up, forward and up, forward and down. So we're doing as much of a roll as we can through the whole of your shoulder girdle like so. Really not trying to rush it, you're trying to get as much movement as you can on both sides, trying to make it equal. You're not allowing the pelvis to tip back as you get tired and you're not letting go of this pressure on the block. So we'll do 10 more of these forwards, but I'd recommend that you do 20 to 40. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna go backwards as well. So the shoulder leads the movement and you're trying to create, it's a big circle, but you almost want to think about it as being a square and you're trying to reach each corner of the square with the shoulder girdle. Notice here how my elbows and my wrists and my hands are following the movement of my shoulder, but I'm not flailing them around trying to get the work happening lower down the arm. It's the shoulders that are doing this work. My pelvis stays forward and engaged, and I'm still switched on at my hip flexors. I'm gonna do 10 more of these backwards as well that you would ordinarily do between 20 and 40. So we'll do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that is sitting shoulder rolls.